Did you know that every 30 seconds, somewhere in the world, a lower limb is amputated due to diabetes-related complications? That tingle in your toes, that seemingly harmless dry skin, might just be the early whispers of a silent storm brewing beneath your feet. In today's eye-opening journey, we're delving into the often overlooked yet critical realm of diabetes. Together, we'll unravel the 10 alarming signs of diabetes foot complications, each potentially leading down a path you wouldn't want to tread. Let's ensure you're not walking into a trap. Join me as we step confidently into understanding, prevention, and care. Your feet, after all, carry the weight of your world. Isn't it time we gave them the attention they deserve? Hey there, if you're finding this information valuable, do me a quick favor, hit that like button below. It really helps to spread the word and reach more people like you. And if you don't want to miss out on more enlightening content like this, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated. Now, here's a little secret just for you loyal viewers. Stick around till the very end, and I've got not one, but two amazing gifts waiting just for you. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on these. So, shall we continue? All right, now that we've set the stage, let's dive into what brought us here today. When it comes to our health, especially for those battling diabetes, our feet often tell tales we might not always listen to. These tales manifest in signs, some subtle and some glaringly obvious. Recognizing these signs early can spell the difference between a simple remedy and a long, challenging road to recovery. So, without further ado, let's embark on our countdown of the 10 alarming signs of diabetes foot complications. Diving into the intricate world of feet health, at number 10, plantar warts. These small, fleshy growths primarily make their home on the heels or balls of the feet, the areas that receive the most pressure. This pressure may also cause plantar warts to grow inward beneath a hard, thick layer of skin called a callus. But how common are these pesky growths? According to the American Podiatric Medical Association, plantar warts account for about 10% of all dermatological consultations related to the feet. While anyone can get plantar warts, individuals with compromised immune systems, like many of those with diabetes, are particularly susceptible. The connection between diabetes and plantar warts goes beyond mere susceptibility. With diabetes affecting the body's natural ability to heal wounds, even a small wart can escalate into a significant concern. In fact, statistics from the World Health Organization indicate that people with diabetes have a 10-20% to 20 higher risk of developing infections, increasing the importance of early detection and treatment. Next on our list at number 9, bunions. Bunions stand out both figuratively and literally. These bony protrusions at the base of the big toe are more than just a visual discomfort. According to the American Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Society, over 23% of adults aged 18 to 65 and over 35% of those over 65 have bunions. Bunions develop due to multiple factors, ranging from genetics, foot injuries, or congenital disabilities, but a primary driver, footwear, a survey published in the Journal of Foot and Ankle Research showed that approximately 68% of participants wearing improperly fitted shoes reported foot pain and ailments like bunions. For the general population, a bunion may be an uncomfortable inconvenience. However, for someone with diabetes, the complications rise exponentially. The skewed alignment of the toe can lead to secondary issues, including ulcers or skin infections. Given that a study in the Journal of Clinical and Diagnostic Research found that over 85% of all diabetic foot-related complications can be traced back to a minor injury, such as those caused by bunions, addressing the issue becomes paramount. Proper foot care, which includes well-fitted shoes and regular foot checks, can act as a frontline defense against escalating complications. Making its way to number 8, calluses and corns. Across the globe, Feet bear the brunt of our daily lives, and as a result, calluses and corns have become almost a rite of passage for many. These areas of thickened skin result from the body's attempt to protect itself from friction and pressure. A survey from the Podiatry Institute highlighted that a staggering 80% of adults have experienced calluses or corns at some point in their lives. But here's the catch. 
While for many these might be merely cosmetic concerns, for diabetics, they are potential landmines. Why? Because beneath a callus, pressure can cause a breakdown of the skin's deeper layers, leading to ulcers. A report in Diabetes Care found that about 25% of diabetics experience foot ulcers in their lifetime, with calluses often acting as the precursor. Furthermore, according to the Journal of the American Podiatric Medical Association, diabetic patients with corns or calluses have a threefold increased risk of foot ulceration. The takeaway, regular podiatrist checkups, ensuring footwear isn't contributing to excessive friction, and using moisturizers can help manage and prevent these issues from escalating. At number seven, we move next to a condition that's often dismissed until it starts to hurt, ingrown toenails. Think of this as a garden where a plant decides to grow sideways, pushing into the path of another. Similarly, when a toenail doesn't grow straight, but starts diving into the skin surrounding it, the discomfort is only the beginning. Ingrown toenails are surprisingly common. The American College of Foot and Ankle Surgeons states that they treat over 3 million cases of ingrown toenails annually. While incorrect nail trimming is often the culprit, other factors like genetics, trauma, and even certain footwear choices can lead to this painful situation. However, the real concern surfaces when we consider diabetes in this equation. The combination of reduced sensation or neuropathy and impaired wound healing can turn a simple ingrown toenail into a potential hotspot for infections. In a study by the International Wound Journal, it was revealed that out of the diabetic patients with foot infections, nearly 14% could trace their problems back to complications from an ingrown toenail. The solution? Regular foot hygiene, proper nail trimming, and immediate consultation if any redness or swelling is noticed can be crucial preventative steps. Sixth on our list, what might seem like a mere cosmetic concern. Dry, cracked skin on the feet is more than just an eyesore. Environmental factors, footwear choices, and frequent exposure to water can lead to the skin on our feet becoming dry. According to the American Dermatology Association, 20% of the U.S population experiences dry skin issues, including the feet. For someone with diabetes, the stakes rise significantly. The skin's natural moisture balance can be disrupted due to high blood sugar levels. Dryness can lead to cracks or fissures in the skin. These seemingly insignificant cracks can become gateways for infections. In fact, the Diabetes Research and Clinical Practice Journal found that over 30% of reported minor diabetic foot complications started with issues related to dry, cracked skin. Emphasizing the importance of moisturizing and routine foot care can be the first defense line against these potential threats. Number 5. Neuropathy Neuropathy or diabetic nerve damage is a severe complication that often affects the feet first. It's characterized by numbness, tingling, and pain. A report by the World Health Organization estimates that up to 50% of diabetics worldwide suffer from neuropathy in varying degrees. With the loss of sensation due to neuropathy, diabetics might not notice minor foot injuries. These unnoticed wounds can quickly escalate into more severe conditions, including ulcers and infections. A concerning statistic from the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases reveals that more than 60% of non-traumatic lower limb amputations occur in diabetics, with neuropathy being a significant contributing factor. This makes it imperative for those with diabetes to undergo regular foot screenings and adopt preventive measures. At number 4. Poor Circulation Circulation ensures oxygen and vital nutrients are delivered to cells while carrying away waste products. With diabetes in the mix, the scenario becomes worrisome. The disease can lead to narrowed or clogged blood vessels, particularly in the extremities like feet. The American Heart Association highlights that over 65% of diabetics die from heart disease or stroke, both closely related to circulatory issues. For the feet, Poor circulation means slower wound healing and reduced ability to fight infections. Cold feet, discoloration, and prolonged healing times are classic signs of compromised circulation. A study in the Journal of Diabetes Complications found that diabetics with peripheral artery disease, a condition marked by reduced blood flow to the extremities, have a fourfold increased risk of foot ulcers. 
encouraging regular exercise, quitting smoking, and managing cholesterol and blood pressure levels can aid in improving circulation and reducing associated risks. Third on our list, ulcers, often starting as unnoticed minor injuries or even small blisters. Ulcers are open sores that do not heal or keep returning. They are more than just a cosmetic concern for diabetics. They can quickly escalate into severe health issues. But just how prevalent and dangerous are these ulcers? The International Diabetes Federation offers a staggering insight. Up to 10% of people with diabetes will develop a foot ulcer at some point in their lives. These ulcers can delve deep, exposing the underlying tendon or bone. With the compromised immune system often seen in diabetics, these ulcers can become the perfect breeding ground for infections, which, if left untreated, can lead to gangrene and, eventually, amputation. In fact, foot ulcers are the primary reason behind more than 50% of non-traumatic amputations in diabetic patients, as highlighted by the American Podiatric Medical Association. It's crucial for diabetics to check their feet regularly and promptly address any abnormality. Moving on to a more complex and less known condition, and the runner-up on our list, shark at foot. This is a deformity that arises from nerve damage, neuropathy, a common affliction in diabetics. The joints weaken and can eventually collapse, leading to a deformed foot. But just how can the bones and joints of the foot deteriorate without a significant external injury? A study from the Journal of Diabetes Complications indicates that shark at foot, although relatively rare, has been seen in up to 0.5% of all diabetic patients. The danger here lies in the neuropathy-induced loss of sensation. With the pain receptors dulled, a person might continue to walk on a foot that's undergoing stress or even minor fractures. This continued pressure can lead to severe deformities, and in some cases, amputation becomes the only viable solution. Therefore, early diagnosis, offloading, not putting weight on the foot, and custom footwear can be pivotal in managing and treating shark at foot. And here it is the most alarming sign of diabetes foot complication. We're confronted with gangrene. At this moment, you might be asking, what is gangrene? Why is it so feared? And more importantly, how is it intertwined with diabetes? Gangrene refers to the death of body tissue, often occurring when the blood supply to an area is interrupted or becomes infected. The most susceptible areas for gangrene are the extremities, fingers, toes, hands, and feet. According to the World Health Organization, gangrene and subsequent sepsis are responsible for an astonishing 40,000 amputations annually worldwide with a significant percentage of these amputees being diabetics. In diabetics, high blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels, reducing blood flow to the feet. This reduced circulation, coupled with neuropathy, which we discussed earlier, can quickly turn a minor foot injury into a significant wound, prone to infection and potentially leading to gangrene. The National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases brings to light that diabetics have a 15 times higher risk of undergoing amputation due to gangrenous foot compared to non-diabetics. Gangrene doesn't just come as a singular entity. It has various types, with the most common being dry gangrene, typically seen in diabetics. This type manifests as cold, dry, and shriveled skin, turning brown to purplish blue or black. If detected early, the progression can be halted and the affected tissue removed, but if ignored, it can be life-threatening. As we journeyed through this list, we confronted some of the gravest foot complications diabetes can inflict, culminating in the chilling reality of gangrene. Every sign we've discussed isn't merely a footnote, pun intended, in a diabetic's journey. It's a potential herald of something far more sinister. Now, think about this. Every step you take, every shoe you wear, and every tiny scratch or discomfort you feel could be the prologue to a deeper story, one that might not have a happy ending if ignored. In the grand tapestry of life, these feet, the very foundation upon which you stand, can often be the unsung heroes or the forgotten victims. But this isn't where our story ends. Far from it. It's a call to arms, or rather, a call to feet. It's an urgent plea to not just listen, but to act, to not just be aware, but to be vigilant. 
because as daunting as these complications may sound, with the right care, precaution, and timely medical intervention, they are largely preventable. Now, before we close, if this video has offered you even a sliver of insight, or if it's kindled a flame of vigilance within you, please do us a favor. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. Knowledge is a gift, and by sharing this video, you might just be gifting someone a pain-free future. And remember, for those who stayed till the end, there are two fantastic gifts waiting for you. Check the description box below. Thank you for joining us in this deep dive. We understand it's been intense, but knowledge is the first step towards empowerment. Here's to healthier steps, brighter paths, and a life where every footstep echoes with confidence and care. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and above all, stay safe.